SIP Certified has partnered with Preservation Inc. to save you time by submitting your annual Total Nitrogen Applied or TNA report for Regional Water Quality Control Board Region 3 Ag Order 4.0. Your ranch's information from GeoTracker need to be added to the database so we can complete the report. So that includes your AW and each ranch's AGL and APNs. So once you get those numbers, you can log into the database and click on Properties, open up a property, go to Ranches, open up a ranch, and start adding your numbers. So your AW will be in AW1234 format, your AGL will be AGL and nine digits, and then your APN should be three digits separated by a dash. And if you have multiple APNs, then you can separate your list with a comma. And then the TNA opt-in box lets us know that you want us to submit that ranch's TNA report. So we submitted your reports last year, that box will be automatically checked. So if you don't want us to submit the report this year, you can uncheck it. So each of your SIP ranches can only have one AGL. So if one of your ranches in here actually encompasses two ranches on GeoTracker, you'll need to create a new ranch for the separate ranch in GeoTracker and then move over your blocks accordingly. So if we go to blocks here, let's say all of our B blocks actually belong to a separate ranch in GeoTracker. <coughs> Excuse me, we'll go into ranches and we'll create a new ranch. Name your new ranch, add your AW, which should be the same, and then your AGL for that ranch, and then all of your APNs. Click save, and then we'll go to your blocks and start to move those over. So if you have just a few like we do, just clicking into them and changing the ranch this way will be totally fine. But if you have several, then it may take some more time. So you might be better off using the upload format. So if you have your blocks, varieties, and acres saved somewhere externally, you can download the template, paste them into there, and upload it again. But if you don't, then you can go back out to your blocks and acres. And I should mention that using this method replaces everything that's in here already. So you want to be sure that when you upload the template, every block and acre is on whatever you upload. So we'll highlight everything and hit Control and C on your keyboard. If you're on a Mac, then it's Command and C. Click on this, download the form here, and then I'll switch over my screen since I do have it open. Please hold. Okay, so here it is over here. And then paste everything in here. And so we said all of our El Caminos are the A blocks. And then all of our Bs are the CCVT. So now that all those are updated, you can save it. And then we'll go back to the database. And then we'll choose a file. Grab that template, click open, click upload and then you're back out to your blocks and you can see that they've all been updated.